The next thing we have to talk about is LA Gear's financial leverage, or its asset-to-equity ratio. Um, this is probably the most difficult section to talk about, and it's most likely the one you're going to lose some minor points. The asset turnover, the overall change in ROE, and your profit analysis, those you should be able to nail in your sleep, hands down, easy. Financial leverage is a little bit more difficult. First thing, though, make sure you restate the change in leverage and identify factors that then sort of... Um, caused its change. And we have here, in our case, LA Gear has moved to reduce its financial leverage. Its asset to equity ratio decreased. And we can see that if we look at our ratio page from 2.97 in 1988 to 1.77 in 1990. And again, we want to make sure we compare it to the industry average. And we still, though, have what? More risk than the industry average. And while generally a decrease in financial leverage indicates less financial risk, it certainly does from a solvency perspective, LA Gear is certainly going to find, experience some financial risk from a liquidity perspective. Remember, we just found in the last section when we looked at turnover ratios, it has very little in the way of cash on hand. A company can finance its growth internally through retained earnings or operating cash flows. And Really, it's not retained earnings, but through operating cash flows, or externally with debt and or equity. And when evaluating our change in leverage, we want to sort of answer, try to answer some of these questions, and that will help us evaluate the why the financial leverage increased or decreased. Don't just tell me financial leverage decreased because the asset to equity ratio went down. That's by definition. It's not explaining why the asset to equity ratio went down. So some of the questions that we're going to consider was, first, is the company profitable? To find out if it's profitable, we're going to want to look where? We're going to want to look at its income statement. We can see, looking at the income statement, that LA Gear is indeed profitable. It's had profits in each of the last three years, so it is profitable. Next question is, do we pay out those profits in the form of dividends, or do we hang on to them? If we look on our cash flow statement under financing cash flows, we don't see anything for dividends. So the answer to the next question is no, they don't pay dividends. So whenever net income goes up, remember, then that's going to make what? Retained earnings or equity increase. Let's go ahead and also look at our cash flow statement and try to answer these questions. What were the most significant operating cash flows? Well, the most significant operating cash flows were these three biggest items here. We had accounts receivable, we had inventory, and then the other large item is net income. So notice the receivables and inventory, assets went up, that was a use or a decrease of operating cash flows. Our net income, we would have said, was a source or generating operating cash flows. Next question, um, were operating cash flows sufficient to meet investing needs? And we can see here, looking at our cash flow statement, Operating cash flows are negative, so clearly there's no way in the world they can cover our investing needs. So the answer is no. Well, if operating cash flows weren't enough to meet our investing needs, the next question becomes, what was our major source of cash? We can see in 1989, we actually paid down our line of credit. And if we look at our balance sheet, we can see that cash outflow or that change in cash. Our line of credit went from 61,000 down to 37,000. So we had a use of cash in 1989. But then in 1990, we turned around and drew heavily again on our line of credit. And of course, that's showing up as a source of cash. So one source of cash was our uh, line of credit, which is short term debt. And the other major source of cash, in fact, the big one, was what? We issued common stock. Our common stock increased in 1989 and in 1990. And again, we can see that looking at our balance sheet. Our common stock account increased in both 1989 and 1990. It was a source of cash. So we went to the market to raise equity. In terms of why we've been able to issue new equity, um, investors will only give us money if they hope to get more money back in the future. Now, our cash flows right now, from an operating perspective, aren't that strong. We're not generating cash to return to investors. In fact, we're having to rely on it. But I'm sure investors are focusing in 
on this rapid sales growth. Our sales have more than tripled in the last uh, three years. And so investors are hoping we can continue to generate profits. Now our profit margins have been falling, but they're hoping we can translate that rapid sales growth into higher profits and positive operating cash flows in future years. So continuing on with our um, template, financing cash flows, positive or negative, they were positive. We are raising money from investors. So you need to sort of take these things into account for why our uh, financial leverage has changed. Let's continue on with our template. Our times interest earned ratio, again, that was sort of our interest coverage ratio. Um, that has decreased uh, from a solvency or liquidity perspective, it's certainly worse uh, compared to the industry average. On average, the industry has $19 in earnings for every dollar in interest. We only have $3 in earnings for every dollar in interest. So we are worse than the industry. Cash flow conversion cycle. It was taking us 247 days to generate cash. In other words, when cash went first into buying inventory, we make a sale, then collect it. It's now down to 148. So we've had significant improvements in our cash flow conversion cycle. Um, the time our money's uh, invested has decreased. And again, primarily, that's because we're doing what? Two things. One, selling our inventory faster and two, collecting our receivables somewhat faster. But the big driver is we're turning our inventory over much quicker. In terms of the evaluation, that's better. Industry comparison, we're still much slower or worse than the industry. So overall assessments, while our financial leverage has gone down, um, we still have more financial leverage than the industry as a whole. Our times interest earned ratio has gotten worse, and it's worse than the industry uh, as a whole. Um, our cash flows, um, poor operating cash flows. So I'd definitely say we've got some weak, we're fairly weak in terms of overall solvency, but I would also probably say primarily because of our decrease in our asset to equity ratio, um, we've probably improved somewhat. So you might pick something different, but I picked improving and weak. Now the next step is to translate some of this information into some sensible commentary. Again, and I want to know why financial leverage decreased. Not that it decreased, I can tell that by the asset to equity ratio. So don't tell me financial leverage decreased because asset to equity decreased from 2.97 to 1.97. That's by definition. But why did our equity relative to debt increase. And that's primarily because we issued additional common stock and we were profitable and don't pay dividends. Both of those things make our equity go up. So we funded some of our operating deficits by issuing equity. We also funded it somewhat with our line of credit. We increased our reliance on our line of credit, but we raised a whole lot less cash from our line of credit than we did through the sale of common stock. And again, we can see that on our cash flow statement, there was probably a net change of what, maybe about 33,000 increase in our line of credit, while over the same period of time, we had roughly a $73 million, $73,000 increase in our common stock through selling common stock to investors. So that would have made leverage go up. And then again, we're profitable, and we don't pay dividends, that makes equity go up, which again would have made our financial leverage go down. I'm sorry, so our financial leverage would have gone down because we issued more common stock, we relied more on equity than we did in debt financing, and then again because our, of our positive net income. Net income makes retained earnings go up, and we did not pay out those earnings in the form of dividends. So I discussed our operating cash flows and the fact that we had a deficit and then how we funded that deficit. And then you can read through this section here in terms of assessing our times interest earned ratio and our cash conversion cycle. And overall, eh, we're not doing so great in the area of solvency. The next thing we're going to want to talk about, which is sort of an offsuit of our financial capital structure and our leverage, is our liquidity. Our 
financial leverage or solvency is more concerned again with our long-term ability to meet our bills, um, where liquidity is more concerned with the right now, here, today. Can we meet our financial obligations in the short term? So let's uh, take a look at that next.